Peace to the gods, peace to the earths, and all of the righteous families of the planet. Assalamu alaikum. Peace family, it's your big brother Fahim back again with another bill for the family. Today we still in the lessons, still in the lessons. But today I want to jump into the 35th question of the Lost Found Muslim lesson number two. The understanding power degree in our one to 40. I want to deal with that today because, um, well, just before I start, just a little bit of commentary before I jump off into it. Brother Ben X, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, brother, Brother Ben X, one of our uh, Muslim God brothers in the nation of Islam, uh, who is now currently in the mosque, had a, a conversation with one of our, you know, esteemed Muslim God brothers, you know, uh, Brother Boris, you know, peace, peace to the God, Brother Boris. Brother Boris was on Brother Ben X's show, and he was basically dealing with a topic uh, of rebuttals, because um, there was an individual who basically was pointing out contradictions in, in our lessons. And I've done videos, you know, people can refer back to some of my old bills where I, you know, went over or went through some of the contradictions in our lessons, which there aren't many. But the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad during the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, before he departed from among us, the messenger cleared up a lot of those, uh, you know, uh, mistakes, if you will, that were in the lessons. Um, for example, the messenger cleared up in the knowledge degree in the 1 to 40, the messenger cleared up the 9,080, which it says in our lessons, the messenger, you know, um, in Our Savior Has Arrived, which Brother Boris pointed out, and which I pointed out also. Like I said, just go back and check my bill, maybe about a year and a half ago where I dealt, dealt with contradictions in our lessons and, you know, in Our Savior Has Arrived, you know, the, the chapter called The Time, the messenger irons that out, he clears that out, and he accounts for that 900 missing years in the 1 to 40, the knowledge degree in the 1 to 40. But the thing about it is, there's a lot of people, and as, as I mention all the time, you know, brothers get mad sometimes when I refer to them as newborns or baby gods. But a lot of times, that's what these, these brothers are that, you know, think they have some deep understanding of the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the thing is, maybe you do have some deep, mysterious understanding or some deep, high-powered understanding of the messenger's teachings, but... My thing is, you know, you have to come out and manifest that. You can't sit behind closed doors and point fingers and say, oh, those brothers are messing up and you're not building. Just like I tell people all the time, people say, oh, Jay-Z's a 5%er or this person's a 5%er, this person got knowledge, this and this and that. You know what? All they have to do is show and prove. You can do just what I'm doing right now, buy you a little cheap Stand like what I got for my phone right here from the dollar store. Get your phone, put it down, and record yourself building. And show and prove. Don't sit back behind a computer and point at the next man or the next nation that is doing the work. You constantly criticize them, but what are you doing? What are you doing? What have you done for your nation? For the original people. Nothing. So, Brother Boris did an excellent job, you know, uh, rebuttaling this individual who, to me, I don't know what he was. I don't know if he was Nation of Gods and Earths. If I had to take a guess, I would say he was Nation of Gods and Earths. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of those brothers are all over the place, man. I've met brothers in the Nation of Gods and Earths that was Nation of Gods and Earth, and they were Masons. I've met brothers that was nation of gods and earth and they still Rasta. 
I've met brothers that was nation of gods and earth and they you know, and, and the thing about it is it's not nothing wrong with reading and studying other material from other schools of thought. Because at the end of the day, the knowledge degree in our student enrollment, who's the original man, we know that he's the Asiatic black man. He's the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, the father of civilization, and the god of the universe. So those five things basically give you the legal, universal right to profess whatever you want to profess, whether it be Christian, Muslim, Jew, Buddhist, Hindu, Taoism, I, I don't care. What you want to profess, you can do that because at the end of the day, all of that knowledge belongs to you. But at the end of the day, I don't have to go and rock their paraphernalia. You know, like I told a brother one time that was a five, claiming to be a five percenter, but he's walking around with a Masonic ring on. And I'm like, you know, it's OK to study what the Masons teach, because at the, at the end of the day, it is a form of Islam. Our lessons teach us that they only have 33 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, while we, the original man, we sit on 360 degrees. We wake up. We snap on and wake up at 120. And what happens to water when it gets to 120 degrees? It can scorch, you know? So 360 degrees of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding it gives us a full, complete circle of information that we can sift through at the end of the day for us to be the God of the universe. The universe is a major, is a big, gigantic circle. And look at all that is contained within that circle. So it's very important that we stick to the script. You know, and a lot of individuals these days don't have enlighteners. This brother that Brother Boris was refuting on the internet, I mean, Brother Ben pulled it up. He got his lessons on, on, online somewhere, you know, and they weren't even right and exact. It wasn't the supreme wisdom lessons or package that the, mo the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave to us. The brother had something completely different. That was wording something completely different. The numbers were completely different. So it's always good to go back and get your information from the source. People laugh at us, the Muslim gods, and say we don't get our information from the source. Oh, you know, the NGE loves to say that about us because, oh, y'all ain't come down to the law school. Y'all ain't built with none of the firstborn. Y'all don't know none of the elders. Y'all don't know. But... <laughs> When you are deep-rooted, and you, we talk about being deep-rooted in this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, going back to the root, to the foundational root, we're talking about Master Fahd Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. They're the founders and the authors of this knowledge itself. Not Brother Clarence 13X, not the father, not the elders of the five percenters, those brothers did a great work. They did a great job at bringing the knowledge from the mosque or the temple into the streets and disseminating it among the babies. They did a, a good job with that. But there's a lot of things that the father did not give his babies. Namely, the discipline. There was no discipline as a 5%er. And if there was discipline, it was very little. Very little. So this is the reason why the father was as successful as he was. Because with these young teenagers, he was able to impart knowledge, wisdom, and understanding into them. Which some of them changed. Some of them remained the same. But the idea is for us to grow into being gods. Gods of the universe. This is what the student enrollment says of the original man, who is a Muslim by nature. Because we know in the 13th and the 14th degrees, in the one to 36, it tells us the, 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 the true self of the original man. It says his own self is a righteous Muslim. So 
with that being said, uh, Brother Boris, again, did an excellent job at breaking down and refuting some of the false claims and ideologies that the brother was spewing forth. It was just one slight mistake or error. Uh, and I spoke to Brother Boris about it, you know, and the, but the God, he, he right away, he was like, you you absolutely right, God. And the God was, quote, you know, he kept talking about 15 and 15,000, and, you know, and, and when the God said that, he was like, I kept saying 15 and it must have sunk in my head. But he was like, you're absolutely right. It was the 35th degree. It wasn't the, you know, the, the 15th degree, the knowledge power degree is who is the 10 percent. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you're absolutely right. But the thing about it is. The evilest gods, they had a field day. They had a field day on Facebook. Going at the brother. Going at the God. Because he made that one mistake. I mean, clearly you can see the brother quoting. He knows what he's talking about. Clearly. But because he made that one little slip up. And said the, the 35th degree, uh, the 15th degree, instead of saying the 35th degree, oh my God, they had a field day. You know, so I, I don't even know what that was about. I mean, it was just something for them to find to, as Jesus says in the Bible, they strain at a gnat. You know, this, this is you Negroes, you know, the evilest gods, you know, who are in the nation of gods and earths. And again, when I say that, I'm not talking about all of my brothers in the nation of gods and earths. Again, like I, I, I have to always put that disclaimer, I've met some very astute five percenters in the nation of gods and earths, but the majority of their cipher is 85 percenters. Those 85 percent make up baby gods, eblis gods, you know, a bunch of newborns who only know their supreme alphabet and supreme mathematics, but they want to walk around and when they hear you say Muslim God, they're like, oh, Oh, well, what the hell is a damn Muslim God? Oh, oh. And, and you want to refute out of ignorance. Ask a question and allow a brother to build back with you. Don't just act like you, you know it all. When you don't even have it all. Brother Boris has all of his lessons. The brother even has the other lessons that the messenger gives, gave us in the Nation of Islam. The problem book. and the, I mean, he can memorize. He has all of that on cap. So this God is even sharper than me, you know. I still have to read mine from time to time because there's so much stuff I've studied over the years. I got to go back and read just to make sure that I'm not quoting the wrong thing as I stop, teach, stop, teach. So this is the reason why I like to read my lessons. But as I mentioned all the time, it is a priority for the newborns in our nation to know their lessons by heart. After 25, 35, 45 years of studying these lessons, as I tell you brothers all the time, with the Muslim gods, we don't chastise somebody if they don't have it on cap. That's stupid. I want to hear your understanding. Brother Boris, his understanding was definitely on point. So I don't even look at little uh, insignificant things such as is that. But anyway, as we jump off into the degree, the understanding power degree in the 1 to 40, it says, tell us the exact date of the expiration of the devil's civilization. Answer, expired in 19 and 14. In my breakdowns, I have the white man's rule or the rule of white supremacy over the darker nations of the earth was up in the year 1914. This means his power to rule throughout the earth with falsehood and lies would be diminished from that year, 1914, and continue on a downward spiral to his ultimate doom. At the time of the, de the devil's expiration, the God would appear and reveal to the lost found his identity. The devil would be totally oblivious to the presence of the God at his first coming and his works. 
the devil has some idea according to the level of consciousness and the gathering of the black race to the knowledge and truth. During slavery in America, we shunned knowledge and truth because that was the way we were trained by our slave masters. But ever since the early part of the 1900s, the black race has experienced a surge of positive energy and black consciousness like never before in the wilderness of North America. Shaitan was wise enough to see the signs or to see some of the signs before they fully manifested and started at one, uh, before they fully manifested and he started a one world government or a new world order to counter the intelligence of Allah and his messenger. This is one of the reasons in 1913 the 10% blood suckers of the poor created the Federal Reserve, which is a so-called central bank of the United States of America. It's a cartel of private banks owned by the 20 founding families, mostly a European divine evils or devils, which today decides the interest rates for the U.S. and lends non-existent monies to the U.S. government on which taxpayers have to pay interest. Also in that year, they introduced a federal income tax bill all during the early part of the 20th century. The rich slave-making 10% was busy at work trying to get an extension of time on the planet. Due to the extreme condition of self-hate and unwillingness to submit to the truth that the black man is Allah, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said the devil was granted 60 years of grace not to exceed 70. We, the black man and the black woman, are the reasons, the main reason the Caucasian white devil is still around today. So, in the early part of the, 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 the millennium, after the Caucasian white man had our ancestors over here for 379 years, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, we were, it was forbidden for the black man to read. Because the Caucasian white man knew that a reading nigger is a thinking nigger. We could formulate thoughts, ideas, perspectives, create solutions. The white man understood that. So this is the reason why for the first 300 years, as the scripture says, Jesus was dead in the tomb of ignorance. But in the tomb, he was dead for three days. But then on the third day, he rose from the dead. The Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad says 70% of what we read in the scriptures is dealing with a prophetic or a futuristic time. A period that has not yet come yet, but is coming. The messenger said, it's talking about the awakening of consciousness, black consciousness in the original man. This means that now we would come into a full and complete knowledge of ourselves and knowledge of our enemy, the Caucasian white man. We would understand his rule of white supremacy, which he shield behind Christianity and the good names of the prophets like Isa alayhi salam and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam, Musa alayhi wa salam, all of the prophets of God, the white man has used white supremacy, but he's used their names to in introduce homosexuality. He's used it to introduce Sodomism. You know, as they say in the West Indies in Jamaica, Batiman business. He's used this shield to promote all of these things. 
And a lot of the so-called Jews who, as Minister Farrakhan pointed out, the synagogue of Satan, a lot of these so-called Jews, they don't indulge in that type of stuff. These Republicans and stuff, which America was founded on. It was founded on re Republic uh, 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 teachings in, 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 in school of thought. Not Democrat, this new Democrat foolishness. But at the end of the day, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said they're both devils. The Republicans and the Democrats. They both are for your downfall. And they are just used as puppets and put out on the front lines to make our people think that, oh, we got somebody working for us. We got somebody working towards our best interests. So during the early part of the 1900s, the white man began his assault because he knew that his time was up. And right now, the Caucasian white man is living off of grace. That's it. This is grace for him. But during that grace period, we see the universal law being implemented and we see the universe ridding itself of that anti-matter, that, that anti-righteous uh, individual, the Caucasian white man, the white race. We see them being removed from the planet in these last days and times. And we also see that anything the white man does or tries to do to thwart the original people from gaining supremacy and becoming the gods which they are innately, we see that he's failing in all of his efforts. Allah says in the Quran that he is Rabbil Alameen. He is the Lord of all the worlds. What does that mean? It means that even at the lowest level of debauchery and filth, we see the God, we see Allah, the God, manifesting himself. This is like the five percenters. When you go into the jails and the prisons and you see the worst of our people sometimes, you still hear that peace, God. I tell brothers, I remember the first time I heard a brother talking about the black man was God and peace, God, and G-O-D and this and that. I was getting coked up. I'm smoking a wooly, getting coked up. I was like 20, what, 20, 21 years old, getting coked up when I first heard that. So look at that. In the depths, you know, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad said before he met Master Fard Muhammad, he was so far deep down in the mud that only his eyeballs could be seen. <laughs> so... You know, his family had to come and get him off the railroad tracks. The messenger then got drunk. Elijah Poole, at that, at that time, Elijah Poole had gotten so uh, slivered, <laughs> as they say down here in the South, he was laid out on the railroad tracks. But once he was able to elevate his consciousness after meeting with his teacher, Master Fard Muhammad, now the God was able to manifest himself within the black man, the original man, the so-called Negro, as it was written. The God coming in the last days, that God is going to be raised up from a bunch of niggas, silly niggas, dumbass niggas. That's where the God in the last day is coming from. So we see him being raised up. As the Bible says, uh, what good could come out of Jericho? You know, all of the good was known to come from Jerusalem. What good could come out of such a lowly place, a ghetto place? It was said that Jesus was born in a manger. A manger is a place where animals are kept. So... This is the reason why J. Edgar Hoover and the counterintelligence program in the early 1900s, after the advent of Marcus Garvey, 
who we deem as the father of nationalism, and then after him, Noble Juwali, you know, and then Master Fahd Muhammad, you know, the white man knew, you know, J. Edgar Hoover knew that we cannot allow the black Messiah. He knew that the Messiah was coming from that group of people. He knew that. Just as King Herod in the scriptures gathered his wise counsel and they made him aware of the times. Studying astrology and the universal laws, they knew that, hey, one is about to be born and he is going to end your rule. So in fear of that, the scripture says King Herod put out a decree of death on all of the young male children. We see that happening today. The white man put out a decree of death on all black men. Took us out of the family. Threw us in prison. Left our women to fend for themselves. Turned us into Batiman and Chichiman. <laughs> yeah. Transsexuals. Pedophiles. Killers. Big killers. One of our great Muslim God scientists, Osman Sharif, said that we cannot return back to our own until we have gained a thorough knowledge of self in the problem book. We cannot be returned back to our own until we have a thorough knowledge of self. So in this last day and time, the God is manifesting himself on every level of existence in the black community. We're coming after our people. There's nothing they can do about it. Allah's word will be born. And there's nothing that the devil can do to stop it. So with that being said, family, not to take too long with this bill. Again, big ups to the nation of Islam. Brother Ben X, salute to the young soldier, uh, the great Muslim God, scholar, Brother Boris. You know, as always, you know what I'm saying? I still got plus degrees by Brother Boris today. The brother's always sharp, as many of my great Muslim God uh, brothers are. And, you know, our people just got to study, man. You got to catch up. Catch up to the high science. Don't ridicule study and catch up that's all i can say man you know but with that being said family i leave the brotherhood as i came in the greeting words of peace we say it in the arabic language assalamu alaikum peace to the gods peace to the earth and all of the righteous families of the planet peace